Welcome to Drawn in 60 Seconds, where I give you a rapid run-through of a topic in history. Today I'm going to explain some of the reasons the Titanic sank on April 15th, 1912. The Titanic collided with an iceberg on the night of April 14th that ripped open its hull, causing water to flood into the ship. Despite efforts to stop the water from entering, the damage was too severe and the Titanic eventually sank. Titanic had a double hull and 16 watertight compartments which were intended to keep the ship afloat in the event of a collision. However, the watertight compartments did not extend high enough to prevent water from flowing from one compartment to the next. As a result, the ship flooded faster than anticipated, causing it to slide beneath the waves in under three hours. The Titanic's crew made several mistakes that contributed to the disaster. The ship was traveling at a high speed through an area known for its icebergs. Her captain, Edward J. Smith, had received several warnings about the presence of ice at the area, but chose to maintain the Titanic speed. This decision made it more difficult for the crew to avoid the iceberg, ultimately leading to the collision and sinking of the ship. These, among others, are some of the reasons one of the world's most well-known ships sank on its maiden voyage to New York in 1912, with the loss of over 1,500 lives.